Well, here we are, end of the year for 2021, and it has been a wild last two years, hasn't it? Okay, well, the purpose of this video is to give some ideas to round up the year, jumpstart you for the new year, and then also give you some insight of what you should be thinking with in the development of your marketing strategy based on trends that are currently working all over the place. And what I'm gonna cover with you in this video is as follows. Point one, end of 2021, tips to succeed to round out this year. Two, launching 2022 with a bang. Three, economic trends. Four, paid ads and search engine optimization. Five, use of video marketing. And six, social media. And on that particular one, you wanna stay tuned for. Okay, let's round up 2021. Tips for use it or lose it. Now is the time to get those last minute stragglers into the office who still need to take advantage of their insurance benefits. Get a use it or lose it message launched via text to your entire database of active and inactive patients and promote this message in your social media and by email. If you need help getting an interactive automated message out quickly to your entire database, be sure to let me know so I can connect you with Bloomberg Digital's digital reactivation service. That's that bulk texting service that has two-way automation in it. Very clever. I'm also gonna suggest that you get out a custom holiday message to your patients, wishing them a happy holiday and letting them know that you're here for any dental needs or emergencies. And I would also put a spirited photo of you and your team with that message. Get this out via text, email, and social media. Here's an example of what a number of Bloomberg Digital clients have sent out to their patients using the automated text campaign. And I just think these are great. All right, now let's talk about launching 2022. If you have been continually promoting use it or lose it messages to your patients over the past month, good on you. You should be prepared to start promoting insurance renewal advertisements immediately after the new year. This type of message can be gotten out via text, paid ads, email blasts, newsletters, and postcards. I would also come up with a new year special. That's good through February or something like that. And it would be something like $500 off Invisalign or get six veneers and we'll throw in two for free. I know you don't wanna be the used car lot of dentistry and I really understand that, but also know that people often need some motivation to get off their duff and do something that they've been contemplating. Come up with something motivating and make sure it is a limited time offering. Okay, now let's talk about economic trends, something that I think you need to be aware of if you're gonna be marketing and just generally running a business. Right now is the time to get your marketing in place and heed my advice here. We have a number of interesting things that have happened in these last two years. Um, <clears throat> We all know what we're talking about. The good news is that we are in dentistry, which is an essential industry, regardless of what happens externally, economically, whatever. You're needed because bacteria and decay doesn't care if there's an economical slowdown, if there's a pandemic, or if the patient needs a new transmission or a new roof. Patients are still going to need a dentist. That said, we are telling our clients to prepare for some economical turns. This means get your marketing in place and plan on increasing your budget. I'm not saying that because I'm a marketing guy. I'm saying that because if you look in history, when major financial trends similar to what we're seeing now have happened in the past, it was always followed by interesting times. What's the solution? Promote, promote, promote. So what should we do? Well, let's take a look at current and projected marketing trends so we know where to aim our guns. For at least the past five years, dentistry has had the lowest search volume during the months of November and December of the entire year. See the trend here in this graphic. So don't be shocked if you feel there's been a slowdown in the calls and website visits, etc. This is pretty usual. The solution, of course, is to increase your promotion every year starting October. And we told you in October to raise your paid ads budget that's why. Also of interest is that January has one of the highest organic search volumes for the entire year for the field of dentistry. See this graphic. So what do we do? Well, know that you are about to go into the heaviest search traffic period of the year. So get your Google ads budget up and ensure you are using a real professional who handles your search engine optimization. First, let's talk about Google paid ads. In 2022, Google costs per click are estimated to increase 20 to 40%. 
and that's according to doyouconvert.com. This has already occurred in 2021, so we're not too worried about is that true or gonna happen? We can see that it's going that direction. That means now is the time to increase your ad's budget so that you can keep up with your competition and continue driving in new patients through this channel. Your Google Ads budget should ideally be $3,500 a month or higher. Yes, that's just going to Google. I know, it's heavy, but that's where it should be minimally. Let me just do something with you right now. Let's just say out of all that spend, you get five patients. Some people be like, oh my gosh, that's five patients. Let's look at the cost per patient. Okay, realize that each of those patients will probably have a lifetime value of over $10,000 for your practice. And based on studies, each new patient will refer on average to additional patients. So that's $50,000 eventual return on investment from those patients alone. And then two additional patients that will bring in an additional $20,000 in return on investment. And if you only got half of that, that's still a 10x return, literally a thousand percent return on your spend. Many Bloomberg Digital clients are making these levels in ROI every month. But my point is think about the lifetime value here and put this all into perspective. You're not just trying to make that exact dollar amount or five times that dollar amount. You're trying to get patients that are gonna be with your practice forever. And even if it's not forever, that lifetime value that those studies have done is around like a five year time period. So yes, many of us put money into investments that we're happy to see a 10% yield on. Let's do the right thing. Invest and get these patients in and then do your magic to take care of them and get them the treatment they need to be healthy and live a longer life. Okay, so we've addressed covering Google ads and that we need to be increasing our budget. What's next? Well, out of 11 people who search for, say, dentist near me, 10 of them are going to search for an organic response. Only one of those is going to click an ad. Where do those 10 people go? They scroll down past the ads, down below the map, generally looking for the top three results organically. This is why Bloomberg Digital focuses so heavily on search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO. 10 out of 11 people are ad ignorers. They're not good or bad people because they don't click ads. They just don't click ads. One out of 11 is a lot of people. So yes, we run ads and I'm going to tell you to run ads. But how do we get those who are ad ignorers? Well, that's high powered, high quality SEO. Many SEO providers do little to nothing effective and they charge accordingly. $300 a month, $500 a month. But that spend hurts me. It should hurt you, but it certainly hurts me. Not only because it's wasted spend, but because of the opportunity loss of what you didn't get because you aren't there organically in those top positions. Some SEO providers are operating on out of date standards, not keeping up with the 1000 plus changes Google makes every year. This means they're doing things not in accordance to best practices with Google which not only won't get you ranking, but could potentially get you penalized. Again, 10 out of 11 people will ignore ads. So it is vital that you are sitting at the top organically for all the key search terms in your area relating to dentistry. If you're already implementing this awesome marketing channel, keep it going. I can't stress this enough. With SEO, your business can build its online presence and attract high quality patients in volume. A major factor that's affecting SEO currently is your website's speed. As more users access the internet on the go, whether from their laptop or smartphone, it becomes critical for businesses to provide fast website experiences. You can test your site's speed by using Google's own tool called PageSpeed Insights. All you have to do is type PageSpeed Insights into Google's search bar and click on the first site that pops up. Then enter your website address into the blank field next to where it says analyze and then analyze it. Hit that click. Once done, review the scores it provides for both mobile and desktop. Ideally, your scores for both mobile and desktop devices is between 90 and 100. This Clearwater Pizza Shop's page speed for mobile devices is a whopping nine, which obviously needs major improvement. That's nine out of 100. For desktop devices, you can see that the speed is better at a score of 51, but it still needs improvement. 
If you find your page speed is less than 90 on either mobile or desktop devices or both, be sure to contact your website hosting company and the developer and determine what they can do to improve it. Now, of course, if you run into any trouble with any of this, you're welcome to reach out to me. Okay, next is video marketing. How important is it? Well, so important. Today, the average person will watch a video before they read a page of text. They might even be multitasking with the video playing in the background. Times have changed, that's what it is. What does this mean for your dental office? Well, here's what this means. You need to be there when someone has a question, wants to learn, or if they are kind of on the fence about choosing you as a dental office, as a provider, or about that dental service. What types of videos, you may ask? Well, any video is better than no video, but I would start with these in the following order of priority. Priority one, patient testimonials. Priority two, reveal videos. Priority three, doctor interviews. And priority four, dental know-how tip videos. Now many people ask, well, what's a reveal video? Well, this is when a person is getting a cosmetic or full mouth makeover and they get shown their new smile for the first time. Let me show you one here. Did you see that? So powerful. Yes, it is probably the patient's temporaries, but the reactions are priceless and they often make viewers feel good, which is the primary reason people go to social media to kind of feel good, feel better, get a break. Now, how to do these? Well, get your HIPAA waiver signed at the beginning of the appointment, do the procedure, and when done, before letting them lift the mirror to see your work, have your phone recording, give the patient the old countdown, three, two, one, and then have them lift the mirror you may have a three golden second moment. You may have 20 seconds, whatever you get, it's generally amazing. And it shows the emotional impact you see routinely, but others rarely get to see. Okay, next is testimonials. Testimonials show what you can do to patients who may like you, but want to be sure other patients agree you are all you say you are. It actually makes it so you don't have to say anything about yourself or your practice. I don't care how you do them, but get started if you haven't already and get better and better at it. They are golden. You need about three to five for every different service you want more of. So if you want more veneers, you want more Invisalign, more implants, get three to five for each of those categories. Once you got them, they're done. You got them, they're done. Even if you have multiple practices, you can use them across all your practices. So just get busy with them and get better and better at it. Okay, next, doctor interviews. Now. This is the next category. These allow patients to learn from you while they also get to meet you. Don't be surprised if patients actually come in a little starstruck after watching 30 minutes of videos from you about, well, I don't know, choosing Invisalign over traditional ortho or about the five things you should consider if you want veneers or about why implant supported dentures might be something to consider over traditional dentures. These videos help you convey your message every time. They allow patients to go home and give your message to their spouse or parent. They allow you to train your staff and all while showing those watching that you are, well, kind of a big deal. And you know what? You are. You are a big deal. You're a doctor. That's huge. Take some time to capture that. I know some of you are like, well, I don't know. I don't like to talk about myself. Okay, good. Well, Get over that. You know, you went to school for a very long time. You've spent years learning your trade and you're good at it. People want to see the evidence and they want to hear what you got to say about it. It's just so incredible. People today want to get to meet you, but they want to meet you on their own time and on their own terms. You got to be there for them. So just get going with it. Contact me if you want some help getting some professional videos shot. Again, we've been doing this with great success. People ask me, well, what do I need for video? Well, you know what you need? A cell phone and a YouTube channel. And if you need help, I'll walk you through how to do that even. But it's just get out there and get started and have a blast. Okay, last point, social media. Be there or lose out. Don't do it. Don't agree with it. Not your thing. Well, listen, I understand. And so be it. And that's how you feel. You have survived this long without it and will most likely do fine without it. However, in marketing, I've always found it to be that, you know, you got to stay with the times and change with the times. 
It's, it's not a matter of, well, if you can't beat them, join them. You know, I don't recommend ever doing anything that you don't believe in and that you don't agree with. And you know what, listen, dancing dentists isn't for everyone. And even when it's done right, I cringe. So I'm not trying to get you to get out there and be something foolish or stupid. What I'm saying is look at what you can be putting on social media, before and after photos, testimonials, staff practice culture uh, videos, reveal videos, and if you pick up on some social media influencers, things can go insanely good for you. Stay tuned for what I have for you on that a little bit later in this. But in short, if done right, your social media posts will go places. Do you want your patients to refer friends and family? Well, if you post something about your patients, something special about them, thanking them for who they are, or what they've done in life, acknowledging them for their accomplishments or whatever is real to you and actual with them, there's a really good chance that that patient will repost it to their social media as kind of like a, oh, shucks, look what my dentist said about me. And who will they be communicating to when they repost that post that you shared about them? Well, yeah, they're friends and family. Where do you start if you haven't already? Well, I'm gonna tell you, Facebook and Instagram are at the top of the list. Facebook owns Instagram. And you can set up your business pages to simultaneously post to both in one shot. So it's kind of like a two birds with one shot. Next is TikTok. Why do we say TikTok? Well, TikTok will be taking the stage next year as one of the biggest platforms for paid ad campaigns by allowing marketers to engage with their audiences via full screen video ads. TikTok has been growing exponentially in popularity over the past couple of years and currently boasts more than 800 million active users spread across the world. So you do need to get onto this platform if you're into social media and if you need any help or guidance on videos or video editing or this platform or any other channel, just don't forget you can reach out to me for assistance. Now you might ask, do I really need to do all three platforms and well, if you wanna take advantage of opportunity, yes. You should be promoting yourself on at least three social media channels. According to alistdaily.com, 64% of social media marketers leverage three to five platforms for their marketing purposes. Managing three to five platforms allows businesses to expand their reach to a variety of audiences, while allowing for their marketers to engage with each one without exhausting their bandwidth or producing low quality content. If you're wondering if Instagram stories or Snapchat are worth your time and money, a good chunk of marketers, about 37%, are planning to decrease their investment in ephemeral content, otherwise known as short-lived content, that's the content that expires. So if you ask me, focus more attention on permanent posts. And don't neglect Instagram and Snapchat if you're doing it, but. I'd stick with things that you're already probably doing, videos, post, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Okay, now let's talk about influencer marketing. Influencer marketing is more than a fad. It's now a normal marketing tactic across all industries. HubSpot surveyed global marketing professionals recently and found that 57% of them currently leverage influencer marketing and 46% of them plan to increase their investments in 2022 in this regard. Now, what exactly is influential marketing? Well, that's where you get somebody who is an influencer on social media and they talk about your brand or your service or whatever. And you get an influencer into your practice, give them a little break on your treatment and say, listen, if I get this right, you shout out for me and they've got a whole audience doing so brings that audience's attention to you. They might follow you, that spreads the word. I think you get the idea. It's just like traditional using a celebrity in a commercial, but now these are more accessible celebrities because they're on platforms everywhere and they're in every city in every area. Well, let's take MGE client and Bloomberg digital client, Dr. Matt Asaro in California. Dr. Asaro recently purchased an existing practice, but has been focusing on his social media quite heavily. He got one influencer in who wanted veneers and he gave her a slight break on the pricing in exchange for giving him a shout out if she liked it. Well, of course she liked it. And here's the video of what she did. Hi guys, so I'm just at my final appointment to check on my final veneers. This is the final teeth. They are perfect. What I love about them is that they look like real teeth. When I come to see Matt, I wanted my teeth to have a lot of character and to basically not be able to tell I had veneers in and he has smashed it. I have no problem eating, 
literally everything feels like normal like these feel like my real teeth i could be more happier thank you matt and he sent that video to me he said hey she just posted this and I said, well, let's get a video of, of that and then put her before and afters and put some background music on it. And Allison, our video editor, did that and animated a logo and did a bunch of other things and got this message put together. He then reposted it and this is what he posted tagging her. Check this out. Hi guys. So I'm just at my final appointment to check on my final veneers. This is the final teeth. They are perfect. What I love about them is that they look like real teeth. When I come to see Matt, I wanted my teeth to have a lot of character and to basically not be able to tell I had veneers in and he has smashed it. I have no problem eating. Literally everything feels like normal. Like these feel like my real teeth. I couldn't be more happier. Thank you, Matt. Pretty good stuff, right? Well, he's getting all sorts of traction. And believe it or not, he had somebody show up at his office this last week who said, you know, I'm here uh, from Australia. This guy actually reached out to him, said, yeah, I'm in Australia. I'd like to come get some, you know, veneers from you. And he's like, okay, it sounds good. He's like, yeah, I'm going to stop in the US before I go to South America for surfing or something like that. And Dr. Sorrow was like, well, I don't know if it's real, if it's going to happen. The guy showed up at his office and uh, paid in full and scheduled for treatment. So social media is powerful. It's here. It's going to be around. And I would suggest learning how to use it. I'm going to give you another example here. This is a, another MGE and Bloomberg Digital client, Dr. Solomon from New York. One of his patients is a performer and gave Dr. Solomon a shout out for his new smile during an interview that that performer got. I asked Dr. Solomon to make a title kind of, you know, intro message to introduce that message and send that to me. He did. Our video editor put that together, Dr. Solomon's message and that interview. And well, check out the result here. Hello everyone. It's Dr. Frederick Solomon here at Tribeca Smiles, wishing you a wonderful holiday season. I'd like to introduce you to a dear friend of ours. This is Mr. Juwan Jackson, who is the star of the Broadway show, Ain't Too Proud to Beg. And recently he gave us a little shout out. Check this out. And by the way, everyone's been talking about your smile. You showed up and they were like, why do we have lights when Juwan's in the house? <laughs> Seriously. And I heard, I love and, you, and you give your shout out to Tribeca Smiles. I love, I love that you like shout out yeah. to Tribeca Smiles. Dr. Solomon, he gets me together. Oh, so well, we, well, we can tell. So yeah. I'm so excited that the show is returning. Okay, so that was his video. I thought it's great. Uh, we got that posted and you know, that took all of about an hour of fiddling around back and forth with the editor and, and there's the content. What I'm trying to tell you is that this is easy. This can be done and you can do it. Dr. Solomon had never really played around in this, but the person said what they said. He did his intro message, sent both those, put some music on it. It was that simple. I'm trying to get you to think with 2022 possibly being a little bit different, okay? And we're going into a whole new world, more than just what we've seen in the last two years, but with social media and marketing, and I'm gonna help you get there, okay? Okay, well, with that, I think you're getting the point. There's a lot of opportunity, and it all starts with you deciding what direction you wanna take and then get started and going there. As always, I'm here for you, as is the rest of the team, and reach out for any help you need. I'm absolutely wishing you an amazing holiday season and the happiest of new years. We'll see you back here in 2022.